Hello everyone and welcome to a new series. Uh, this series is the first uh, video of this series. The series is going to be called What's Up Doc, uh, as you can see from the title. Uh, the premise behind this is I'm going to simply take one question that I get, I get a lot of questions, and I'm going to answer it as fully and as in-depth as I possibly can. So with that, let's just get started with the very first one. And the first question that I'm going to do for this particular video is where do I get my fragrances or where do you purchase your fragrances, your cologne, how are you able to purchase so much, um, you know, where, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to cover that and dive right into it. First, before I start, um, I kind of want to explain what type of collector I am. I'm, I'm a collector first and foremost. I collect cologne. I also spend a lot of time uh, smelling cologne, whether it be whether I like it or I hate it, uh, just strengthening my nose, smelling individual oils and notes. Uh, I've been doing a little, uh, you know, fragrance and cologne creation on my own uh, with a bunch of bottles that I, you know, or with a bunch of oils that I've owned and, you know, constantly order. So the type of, so I'm not really into it just to, uh, you know, take in fragrances that I like, uh, but it's also to A, collect, B, expand my nose, and C, uh, uh, part, partly for it, but learn more about it and uh, to basically, you know, uh, use it to get better at making clones. So, uh, with that with that being said, just dive right into it. I get my cologne, the first and foremost place that I get my cologne is other reviewers. Uh, whether it be on YouTube, uh, whether it be through uh, Facebook, whether it be through, uh, you know, Fragrantica, Base Notes, other reviewers are my primary place where I usually buy fragrances. What you usually see is people uh, purchasing fragrances, they end up not like liking it, especially if they blind buy it, or they may be strapped for cash. Uh, that's where I jump in. Uh, I usually like to get deals for that, so a typical uh, 1.7 designer fragrance I'm going to pick up for around $20-$30. Uh, that's almost half off the retail price most of the time. So, uh, you know, the key for that and the trick with that is uh, generally I only buy from people that I know or I've seen around the community or I've seen around uh, posting or purchasing different items. Generally, I'll purchase it from them because in the event that it's fake, I know that uh, I can send it right back to them and they'll usually give me my money back for it. Or uh, because of the, you know, community uh, type sequence, nobody really wants to be known as the one who sells fake clones or who uh, sells fake fragrances. So, you know, when a fake fragrance comes up, almost all people are usually willing to go ahead and take that fragrance back in. Uh, bite the bullet for it. It hasn't happened to me, it's all actually, it's only happened to me once uh, that I've actually gotten a fa uh, fake fragrance and I have gotten it, have gotten my money back for it. Uh, generally speaking, when you usually buy it off people, you can usually, you usually get a percentage of how much is left in that bottle. Uh, personally, I don't really care as long as it's above, I, usually around, I want to say like 85%, then I'll go ahead and purchase it. Uh, uh, so, you know, yeah, so base notes, Fragrantica, YouTube, uh, you'll usually see it on swap threads, you'll usually see people make videos of it, um, and Facebook, where you'll usually see people post that, hey, I'm selling this fragrance, or I'm swapping this fragrance. Uh, it's usually much worth your time to go on, and go that route. Uh, the second route that I usually go when I purchase fragrance is... Websites, fragrance.net, um, well, especially for you know designer colognes, uh, even for some niche colognes. For niche colognes, I'll go to fragrance.net, uh, Lucky Scent, uh, the perfume shop, uh, just some to name of others. There's a ton of cologne shops or fragrance shops that you can go to online. Uh, it really boils down to what kind of coupons you get, what kind of deals you get. For almost every site, there's always going to be a coupon that you can use to get at least 10% off. Uh, the exception to the rule, though, is some of the niche sites. Those, um, 
and getting niche fragrances is usually a little bit harder because they're more expensive so uh, it's a little bit trickier sometimes to try and find coupon codes that you would get discounts for on that. Uh, the next place that I usually purchase fragrances are straight out of discount, or I'm sorry, straight out of, uh, I want to say boutiques or um, department stores like Macy's, Sephora. I'll usually purchase those, fra the fra fragrances that I usually purchase from those stores are usually new or um, they're popular fragrances that you're really not going to get that much of a discount from uh, or uh, they're fragrances that you know I'll just you know buy on a whim when I'll be out when I'll go out with somebody um, you know cologne sniffing or fragrance sniffing uh, if I see something that I like sometimes I'll get it there sometimes I'll wait to go buy it online uh, but I do purchase it there. I live in New York, so it's not really hard for me to go to a department store or to go to those stores. Some of you it might be, but um, in my case it's not. So department stores though, they're still always an open option. Uh, another thing that you might see in malls is you'll see those little fragrance, I wanna say stands uh, that some people run. They've got these stands that they basically just sell a whole slew of fragrances that are down. Generally speaking, the fragrances are usually trustworthy from those, but uh, do watch out and do be careful uh, because it wouldn't surprise me if some of them did sell uh, fake fragrances. Uh, which brings me to my next one, uh, which is street vendors. Personally, I stay away from street vendors. I don't uh, go near them in terms of purchasing colognes. Uh, it's really a hit or miss. What, you're, what you'll often see with a street vendor, um, especially here in New York City, what you'll often see is they'll have the real cologne out on display and have, for you to actually try and you know uh, sniff around at. But uh, once it comes, once it comes to actually purchase the fragrance, they're going to give you uh, a fake one. You won't tell it's a fake one until you get home, um, or you might even not even tell when you get home. Uh, you'll find out much much later that you know the fragrance that you got is actually a fake. Uh, so for that reason. Um, I don't usually purchase off them, plus obviously they don't really take refunds or anything like that. Uh, so I usually steer clear of the street vendors. Uh, the other popular one is auction websites like eBay, uh, where people uh, purchase fragrances. Now uh, I know a lot of uh, fellow reviewers usually purchase fragrances off eBay. Um, some of them rec highly recommend it. Personally I stay away from eBay just because, unless I know the actual seller. Just because, again, if something goes wrong, if something's wrong with the fragrance, I want to be able to immediately return it with really without any hassle or any problem or any problems with it. Um, you know, generally speaking, eBay is really a hit and miss in that aspect. It's, you know, you're trusting the other person on the end of the line uh, or at the end of the auction to obviously give you a real one. Uh, so, given my other history with some eBay auctions completely unrelated to fragrance, it's just one thing I kind of uh, steer away from. I can purchase uh, most fragrances perfectly fine without it. So, all in all, that's pretty much uh, the majority of where to actually purchase it. Now, with um, in terms of getting deals, uh, you usually can get good deals off of other people who are selling their fragrances. Um, uh, again, I usually get uh, fragrances for around 50% off depending on uh, what they're selling, uh, what I'm buying, etc. So uh, that's about it in terms of what I buy or where I buy these fragrances from. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to uh, send me an email. I'm going to go ahead and leave links to some online stores uh, where I purchase fragrances. and. Feel free, follow those stores, uh, do some Google searches for uh, the coupon codes, and you should be good to go. All right, take care.